So whenever you picture going camping, do you think of maybe somewhere on a nice beach, some pretty sunrise, sunsets, maybe out in an open meadow somewhere with flowers, or maybe a nice mountain view somewhere? Or do you picture a frozen tundra with several inches of snow on the ground in one day? I've got some tips for you that may help you if you find yourself in this situation to where you're below freezing temperatures that may help you get through the situation. So stay tuned, I'm gonna roll the intro and I'll be right back. tip for your black and gray tanks is to keep your main valve closed that way you don't have fluid come out, out into your hose here which may freeze and expand and bust your hose so you just need to empty your tanks as needed and then we do take the extra time to lift up your hose make sure you get all the fluid out of it so it doesn't sit there and collect and then freeze and expand and bust it while it's just sitting there another tip is to have a heated hose for your water supply coming in from the spigot that way it keeps water from freezing in your line going from the spigot to your rig. And then in addition to that, a weak point can be the actual faucet itself, or what we call in the south the spigot, is to have electric heat cable. And you can wrap that around the spigot and your connections, and that way it will also help keep it from freezing. This campground is actually very nice because they have their water line coming up out of the ground and also in a heated box there, so it keeps it from freezing going up to that point. So another tip for helping keep the rig warm is the skirting around the bottom. Uh, there's companies out there that make skirts like you see like this that are custom fit to the rig where a lot of people will do the homemade type job or DIY type stuff where they use foam barred insulation that you can get at a hardware store and kind of cut the pieces to fit. But anything to kind of keep that wind from getting under there. And then sometimes people will put, uh, whether it be a light bulb or some type of heater under that to help keep the underbelly a little bit warmer. So that will obviously help any type of insulation you can get to protect you from the elements can help here and there. A great tip for propane is to keep several tanks on hand. That way you do have some extra and you don't end up in a situation where maybe you get frozen into a park, the roads are too bad to travel. You'll make sure you have plenty of propane on hand. As you can see, I actually have four tanks. And then also another tip with that is to keep some propane tank monitors on the tanks. There's some made by Lippert or LCI, as well as a company called Mopeka. And then you just use an app so you can monitor the tanks. That way you can kind of keep an eye on it. I check mine periodically to see if they're getting low. That way I don't end up in a situation where I run out of propane in the middle of the night and wake up freezing to death. So I have to make sure I go ahead, get those changed out before I get in that type of situation. Another tip is regarding your awnings. So you want to keep your awnings rolled up anytime you know there's severe weather coming, whether it be rain or especially snow and ice, because that weight can actually bring down your awning and rip it off the side of the camper or destroy your arms and cause a lot of damage that can simply be avoided by keeping the awnings rolled up. So unless you're going to be outside using them, when it's a nice dry day, then you want to keep your awnings rolled up for safety. Okay, another tip for you when you're in freezing conditions is utilize your fresh water tank and your water pump. So if you know the temperature is going to be getting cold, go ahead and fill up your fresh water tank in advance. And then that way you've got some water in case your uh, water hose does freeze up. All you have to do is cut on your water pump and then you've got water inside your rig for your uh, toilets, sinks, showers, etc. to help you get through those times. Uh, another tip is if you have an onboard generator. So as you know, with freezing conditions, sometimes power lines can come down. So having an onboard generator or even a portable generator on hand can be beneficial just in case you do get in a situation where you're without power in the RV park. And another tip is tank heaters. Very beneficial product. This rig came with them, uh, fortunately, or some rigs have a heated underbelly. That can help keep your tanks as well as your lines under the rig from freezing up uh, during these types of conditions as well. Another tip can be for having an electric blanket on hand for those really cold nights. Go ahead and just plug that in and then that way you've got a heat source there while you're in bed and may not necessarily have to keep the propane turned up as high because then you can uh, turn the electric blanket up and stay warm and cozy all night. Another tip is having a good space heater or two around. We've got this one out in our garage because it doesn't have the floor vents for the furnace and so it helps keep the garage area warm as well as the bathroom in here. And on a space heater you want to be sure you get one that has a safety feature where if it tips it turns off. 
So then that way you don't have a situation where it continues to run and potentially cause a fire. A lot of people like the ones that are the oil ones that look like the old radiator style. They're pretty safe and efficient. But the ones that kind of light up orange and have the burners on them that are a little older may not be the safest ones to have in an RV. But I'm not saying you can't use them. If there's any tips that you've thought of that I didn't list in my 10, please add them to the comments below. I'd love to hear from you, and I'm sure others who are reading through the list would appreciate the comments as well. Camping World is one big community, and we do try to help each other out, so I'm sure they would appreciate the feedback, as would I. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some other content like this, such as some RV tips, different campgrounds, places or travels, please subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate it, and would love to have you along on our journey. Have a great day!